Hi, I'm Gary and this is my story. I want to talk about my memory loss. Sometimes I mention my memory loss to people about not being able to remember things from my childhood and people say, well that's normal. You can't remember everything from your childhood. So I found a way that I can kind of quantify how much memory loss I have and it's with an analogy so when I imagine my life as a long jigsaw puzzle and I'm standing at the the end that represents now I can see in the jigsaw puzzle what's going on in my life I can remember what it was like to be here it might not have every single piece there but that's no problem, I can see. I can see what's going on. I can see what my life is like. I know what it's like to be there, to be in it, day to day. And I can go back in my jigsaw puzzle, go back towards the past, and slowly there's more and more pieces missing, but it doesn't take away from being able to see the overall picture. I can see what my life was like. And it's like that even back to high school, to grade 10 there's quite a lot of pieces missing but I can still see the overall picture before grade 10 it just drops off there's not enough pieces there to see the overall picture there's just a few pieces here and there not enough to even connect any two together just a few when there should be hundreds it just drops off like a cliff And that's my whole, my whole childhood is like that. I have just a few little memories here and there. There's no bigger picture to fit those pieces into. I can't make a bigger picture from those pieces. I can't recall what it was like to be there day to day. The few little memories that I have just show me what happened in that little moment and maybe even tell me something about what I felt in that little moment. But it doesn't tell me anything about all of the time in between those few little memories. Some of those pieces, some of those memories, I've always had. I had never lost them. And those pieces indicate that there was something seriously wrong in my life. And then, when I was 29 and started to recover memories of abuse that added just a few more pieces to to the ones already there not enough to connect any two together not enough to build any kind of picture to give me any kind of clue of what it was like to be there on a day-to-day -day basis that's my childhood i don't have enough memory to know what it was like to be there that's the case up until the beginning of grade 10. And that's, that's the reason why I know something happened to me at the, between grade 9 and grade 10 to, to wipe my childhood. And after, after 35 years, it's not coming back. Apart from those memories that I recover from doing recovery work on my child abuse and the the emotional issues that interfere with my life apart from those few memories I'm not really recovering anything new I'm not getting my childhood back and I just have to admit it's, it's gone and when I talk to other survivors of electroshock it's the same they say the same thing it's just gone it's not going to come back the memory loss that extreme memory loss I attribute to electroshock ECT but that doesn't mean that I'm not suffering the effects of the abuse that I can't remember I still have to deal with all of the 
negative false beliefs and all of the emotional pain from the abuse, even if I don't have the memory to attribute it to. So that's, that's how I look at, at my life and the memories of my childhood and the way that I, the way that I used to, to explain to people and to, to myself how, how to look at it so I can see the reality of how much memory I've lost.